Announcer Johnny Addy. McAloon in the dark trunks. Donato Padawana in the white. Nice move by McAloon. Good left hook in the right hand. Nice right by McAloon. Donato Padawana is a very, very fast-handed fighter, as you can see. Three jabs by Padawana. punches in the fight. This fight will come very, very quickly. You'll watch McAloon's jab, his fast right hand and hooks to the body. Padawana uh, has a very fast left jab and a very fast straight right hand. You'll see this all through the fight. Both of these fellows are very talented boxers. Square Garden in the big house. McAloon looks very good putting Padawana backing up. Nice jabs by McAloon. Danny's jab is right on target through this whole fight. He's fighting a sensational fighter. Beautiful punch. Punches by McAloon. He's fighting a sensational fighter in Donato Padawana. A fellow who picks your jab out with the right hand and throws the same right hand right over it. A very fast-handed fighter is Padawana. McAloon is a more dogged type. He throws his jab and will come right in. There he is. Danny's landing very sharp punches on Donato Padawana, who is an unusually slow starter. That's McAloon's corner there. Manager Mike Capriano. Mike was the manager of Jake LaMotta in the early years. And one of the greatest cut men and trainers in the world. Freddie Brown. Freddie Brown worked the corners of Rocky Marciano, Roberto Duran, Bob Pastor. Freddie was in boxing for at least 50 years, all the time with the big names. He was a great trainer and cut man, Freddie Brown. Nice move by Danny McAloon again. Watch Padawana with that right hand. When he picks the jab out of the air, in the same motion, he'll hit you with the right hand. Danny seems unfazed by Padawana's reputation and fancy style. He just keeps coming with what he's got. 
Best way to fight a fancy guy. Just do what you do. Let him do what he does. Nice right hand. Catching Padawana. Coming in solidly twice. Padawana flicks that jab back in McAloon's face. Fast left by, by Donato Padawana. Another one. McAloon returns the jab. And a right hand. Nice two rights by McAloon. Donato lands with that right hand again. Danny with the left. All these punches, most of the punches by these two fighters are solid, good blows. They're landing very hard jabs and hooks and right hands to each other. Nice combination by Danny. There's that lead right again by Padawana. McAloon starts with a good combination. Padawana finishes it. Neither of these guys has a lot of knockouts. and not power punches. Both guys have good chins. Excellent. This is excellent boxing. This is excellent boxing. Danny with two jabs. And a right hand. Donato Padawana was New York's Golden Glove champion in 1967. Come down from Canada to win the gloves. A superior fighter, the best fighter in the division. Beat a very good middleweight in the uh, in that year. He beat a fellow named John McCormick, who was a very good Golden Glove contender in 1964. Nice action. McAloon seems to be throwing the harder punches of the two fighters. Landing that jabs consistently and solidly on Donato Padawana's chin. And then coming over with a hook and a right hand. McAloon the aggressor again. He looks terrific so far. Fighting a high caliber guy like Donato Padawan. McAloon still landing more blows. Padawano is supposed to be the fast puncher. And he is. You've just seen them jabs. These fighters throw a lot of punches. Very difficult to keep up with the punches. Many people told me this was the best fight they've ever seen. Nice right hand by Donato Padawana. And a left, and the round ends. This is round three.
Danny is timing Padawana very nicely. Gets that jab off, then throws the right hand right over it. Padawana, a slow starter, still finding his way. Flicking his jab, he looks a little more mobile this round. He looks like he has a little more rhythm than he had in the first two. McAloon is just steady and consistent. Fights the same way all the time. Throws the jab, the right hand, keeps coming in. He doesn't care what the other guy does. He just knows what he does. Both of these fighters are experienced fighters, world-class fighters. Danny McAloon in his career fought Emil Griffith, Gene Jocelyn, Vito Antifermo, Billy Backus, John H. Stracy. There's Padawana landing a short right and another short right. Both guys are working very hard. Padawana's coming around now, fighting better than he had in the first two rounds. Finding his jab and short right hand now is Padawana. Very slick fighter. There's those fast hands by Padawana. His jab, you can't, you can hardly see his jab. You can see it coming back. Very hard to see Padawana's jab come out sometimes. You, you just see the glove come back. Here's that experienced corner of Danny McAloon's. Freddie got a lot of grease on Danny. McAloon has been known to cut. This is Madison Square Garden in the early 1970s. Padawana is a big favorite up in Canada and a big favorite in New York since he won the gloves. Always puts on a good show. Donato has a very good winning streak in the Felt Forum, which is part of Madison Square Garden. He fights there a lot and draws a lot of people. McAloon misses. Padawana is really getting into his rhythm now, making McAloon miss and scoring nice jabs. Look at those punches, those jabs, those fast hands of Donato Padawana, but McAloon just keeps on coming. Scoring with his own punches. Nice right hand by Donato. Nice exchange. Good exchange by these fighters. You notice Padawana sometimes goes into a half lefty stance, not a total lefty stance. Padawan 
Ma's punches are very sharp. event this night, this is the semi-final, the main event was uh, Davy Vasquez fighting for the North American Bantamweight title. I can't recall now who his opponent was. About halfway through, a very even fight. McAloon had the momentum for the first part of this. Padawana picked up the second part. But both guys still fighting on even terms. Even when the other guy was doing well, the uh, opponent was, or was still holding his ground. Very hard for either fighter to take control because the other guy is as good. Danny fighting very well this round now again. Landing his jab, his hook in the right hand. Right there. And occasionally going to Padawana's body. Padawana sneaks that right hand out. You can hardly see it. Padawana punches. A lot of times you just see the opponent's head go back. This was a fabulous 10-round fight. Man in white, Donato Padawana, missing a lot of punches this round. McAloon connecting very hard. Padawana doesn't go to the body much. McAloon never forgets it. Sharp punches by Padawana. McAloon has a great chin. That's the end of the round. We're halfway through the fight. Very calm over in Danny's corner. There's Padawana changes direction very well. He goes, he moves side, to, he moves back and forth and then side to side almost at the same time. Takes a right. Neither fighter has been hurt, but both fighters have been landed on very hard. There's McAloon with a nice move coming in. Sticks, sticks his jab in, drives Padawana's head back. And a nice right hand by Danny.
Macalone's jab is winning this fight for him. Padawana is not throwing his jab enough. It's very flashy and it pops out and it looks good, but Macalone is throwing three and four at a time. And then following with a right hand. Although Macaluna is having a good round, Padawana stays in there and throws a lot of punches also and looks good even though he's losing the round. When Macaluna lost his round, he looked good too. This is a very close fight. This is an excellent match. Two very good professional fighters throw nice jabs, nice right hand. They have pretty good defense. They provide a lot of action. McAloon refuses to be suckered or intimidated by Padawana, he just comes straight in behind his jab. Padawana would occasionally confuse opponents with his side-to-side -side movement and lead right hands and throw a guy off his rhythm. Uh, it, it, it almost seems as Macklin doesn't even see what he's doing, what Padawana's doing. Danny just keeps coming in, the jab, the right hand, and the shots to the body. He doesn't care what the other guy is doing. Padawana, although he's losing this fight so far, is still looking very good. He's an excellent fighter, Padawana. Very fast hands. These are the Padawana rounds. A very slow starter. Sometimes it takes him four or five rounds to really get into his rhythm. We saw him get into it a little earlier tonight. In my opinion, he took the second and third rounds from, from McAloon. Quick right hand by Padawana. Quick left. weigh about 150 for this fight. Padawana would sometimes come into fights uh, heavier. He had a problem with his weight. You can see now he's still a little pudgy. But a tremendously fluid fighter. Very nice right hand by Padawana, out of nowhere, and a left. Macaloon comes back. Good flurries by bo both fighters, looking very good here. Danny 
nice body punch and then up to the head. Gotta wanna land some nice shots. Danny forces him to the ropes. The end of the round. Start of another. Back and forth, Padawana goes. Side to side. Macalone is making Padawana fight the fight that he wants to fight now. Danny is making him punch at, on, on his schedule and not on Padawana's. Quick right by Padawana. Quick jabs by Donato Padawana. Macklin back with another jab. You get the feeling in the crowd that they're waiting for Padawana to come on, and as he comes on, Macklin meets him. And doesn't let him get going to where he wants to go. Punches landed by both fighters in that last exchange. Danny seems to be throwing heavier punches than Padawana. Nice left by Padawana. But Macaloon keeps coming and keeps throwing his jab, and Padawana doesn't get the chance to get into a rhythm, to get into a roll and throw a lot of punches. Coming up, 